SR93 boxing back with a quick video. Amir Khan has um, posted a video on Twitter about uh, on him training a little bit. He's doing some bad work in the ring, moving around. Well, that's what it showed in the uh, video. The it's a good approach from Amir Khan. He's uh, had a hand injury, if you don't know, and he had a surgery too. He's been having this hand hand injury for a long time. Amir Khan's doing the right thing. He should slowly go on to training. And um, with with Virgilanta, that is, Trent will work on his new skills. He looked really impressive against Canelo. I think he looked underratedly impressive. People are sleeping on him. So he should take a tuna fight. The tuna fight shouldn't be a complete bum, in my opinion. Could be like a Soto Karras. I mean, Soto Karras is a journeyman, but he's a good one, dangerous one. You know, Saddam Ali would be a good fight. I mean, look, Saddam Ali would take on that fight, right? It's a good opportunity for him. Um... Yeah, there's a, few, there's a few good fights out there, and you should fight Danny Garcia. None of that waiting around for Floyd. He's still think, um, he's still talking about Flo Conor McGregor, which I hope that dies out because Conor's yet to achieve a lot more in boxing. I feel like he can achieve more in um, boxing. I do highly rate Amir Khan. I think he's a bit underrated by a lot of the fans. Amir Khan can actually beat like the best of Amir Khan beats. The best of anyone else at 147. Not named Floyd Mayweather Jr. Amekon took a lot of chances in his boxing career. Fought Madonna for Lamar Peterson in his own hometown. He took a lot of chances, man. He took Canelo fight. He kind of inspired Brook to go up and fight Golovkin. Because Brook wasn't fighting shit before. All of a sudden, the Amekon fight made him do it. So yeah, man. I do think Amekon is not scared of any fighter. Um, he needs to... Train the approach that I think he should take is train. They train with Virgil Hunter a little bit, um, with all tactics and everything. Slowly get in shape. When the opponent selected in January, he should train for the opponent and go and hopefully beat him. Mekong can beat. In my opinion, Mekong can beat a Keith Thurman, a Sean Porter. Well, the Sean Porter will be a difficult fight, but he can beat a Danny Garcia, a Keith Thurman. But he best American beats the best Sean Porter, and in my opinion, I know a lot of people are gonna disagree with me on this. But the best, in my opinion, the best American beats the best Errol Spence. So um, that's kind of what I think of it. I do highly rate him. I'm a big fan of him. There's a certain things I don't agree with what he does, but all in all, I'm a big fan of him, just like I'm a fan of Danny Garcia. I think Amerikan, I hope he comes back, he fights some good fights, um, yeah man, hopefully he's back, I hope he does everything right, and I hope he gets Tony Brady back somehow, so that's kind of what I have to say, I'm out.